And good day everybody. This is me um, on my very first real life update. And I kind of want to go over a little bit on myself. I'm not sure how this video is going to really go. I did try to plan it out, but it it's just, it's not working. It's like the more I try to plan it, it the more mixed up and, and confusing it gets. So what I'm going to try to do is just explain it the best way I am able to, to share it with you guys. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just going to start off. Um, most of you guys follow me on the medias. Uh, hi, <laughs> of course, for watching me now. Um, I have serious mental and learning disabilities. Uh, serious ones. A lot of them affect me in everyday situations. Um, so I'm just going to go off with some of the big ones that affect me, but it also affects the husband. It also affects how I treat you guys and the way that it reacts to everything that goes on. Because I want you guys a part of this, you know, a part of my channel, a part of my pages, because that's how I want to work it. You guys are the reason I'm doing this. Uh, I want to share. I want to be myself. This is the way that I want to truly be myself and also be able to share cool stuff with you guys. But at the same time, have you understand why and how I'm doing the things that I um and the ways that I am doing them. So, yeah. Top one is the most hardest one that I, 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 I'm having the most difficulty with sharing, learning, understanding, um, and truly accepting that this is a true and honest disorder that I have. Uh, because I still don't believe it myself, but it's true. I, we, we, we have documents, we've had facts, we've, we've gone through the testing, everything like that. So, yeah. Um, some of the other ones that I have of my disorders, um, I've known since I was pretty much day one. Um, the learning disabilities. At some times, I am unable to read. I am unable to write. I am unable to think or speak. Um... Jordan. So that really causes a lot of things uh, that's very difficult. Um, along with the disorders, um, I have amnesia, which is very, very difficult to handle and to process most of the time because with the... with it, I... I forget how to say words, I forget how to comprehend sentences, so it takes me longer to talk to somebody about something. Um, it, it also doesn't help that I have to relearn and relearn and relearn and relearn something over and over again, even though I might have just learned it two seconds ago, or you might have just taught me how to do something, or I've just watched it or whatever the case may be. At some times, I remember everything crystal clear. I mean, to the smells, to the detail, to what was going on around me, what color shirt someone had, their eyes, I mean, just, it, it's crystal clear. I mean, just everything. And then other times, nothing. I cannot remember one thing. I'm just sitting there in the dark, basically. Uh, so that's that's another thing that I deal with, um, is the memory loss. And that has been affecting me my whole life. Um, over the years, I know that most of you guys also have noticed that 
I'm not a straight character. Um, I have to do 50 billion things kind of all at once. And when I do finally get something that I like or I think I like or I'm excited about, it changes like that. I'll be in love with just something and it's like like that or be projects you know projects are another thing it's like you, you guys will see this and I know that it, it really aggravates you guys I know that really kind of makes you guys wonder you know what type of a person I am um, and that's another reason why I am trying to do this video the rambling video of me um, and another thing um, I'm not sure if any of you guys have noticed in this video I have not pronounced who I personally am. I've not said a name or anything like that. And that is because of the reason for this video. I have been diagnosed, it's been many years now. Uh, my mom, my grandmother, um, grandma, <laughs> she's known about this. I had not. Um, I've been, I was clueless all the way up until a few years back. But my whole life people have been calling me different names. My whole life. I mean, even, like I said, my mom, my grandma, she even calls me a different name. I mean, since like day one, my name has never been the born name. Um... And because of that, it, it's never affected me because I, I it just never did. I, I never paid attention to it. And over the years, more and more <laughs> people have called me different names. Um, like I said, I've always been a changer. I've always had to become someone else. I've always had to be the persons for other people. So being a changeling for me was never a problem. Plus, I'm, I'm a character. I love characters. I'm a role player. I'm a gamer. So jumping into different characters was never a problem with me, you know. Um, so a few years back, uh, I met a very good doctor. I'm no longer seen, but I was at my wit's end. Um, I had a total breakdown, and I knew I needed help. My whole life, I knew something was wrong. I, I, I always did, but I didn't care about myself, you know, and it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal for me to take care of myself because it, there was just no reason. Um, and that's how I felt. I mean, that's how I was always treated and that's how I see myself. I didn't see myself as a person. I see myself as an item. Um, something to help out other people. I was diagnosed with DID. At first I had no clue what that meant. I didn't pay attention to it. I thought, hey, my doctor will tell me about this, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> DID is Dissociation Identity Disorder. Formerly known as multiple personality disorder. I didn't believe this. I, I, I did not believe this at all. I thought, no, no way. It, that just no way. Yes, people have been calling me different names. Yes, I have these other disorders, but there's no way. We'll get back all into that in a second. I'll let that sink in because most people are not going to believe me. And that's fine. If you don't believe me, that is up to you. I didn't believe it. But on top of the DID, I also have um, where I get met, I get like just totally depressive. Just, just nothing. There is just no getting me out of it. And then in other times, um, I'm just like, over the moon, just out of just everything. Uh, you know, energy, crazy, crazy, crazy energy. Um, 
But the depression I always knew. I knew that one, like I said, a super little too. Uh, most of my family also has the depression, so I knew those signs. You know, I knew the signs of the depression and I knew how to work in that with my life and to, I thought, counteract and, and get myself out of those moods, um, which I did in a way. And I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. That one made a lot of sense. That one made a lot of sense because even my grandmother or my mom, depending on how I say it, um, she said I would have roller coasters as well where my moods would just go you know, up and down and it's just all crazy. And I would notice that myself. Um, I called them my down times or my up times or, or whatever I called them at the back then. So I, I understood that aspect. I understood the dyslexia where I see things backwards when I read. But at the same time, because of the other disorders that I have, I also see things backwards. Um, words pop up in the errors, and that's why, if, and sometimes if you watch me game or something, I'm looking up or sideways because I'm seeing something going around where I have to pay attention because if I don't, then I miss a certain importantness that my brain is trying to tell me. So that's always been fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what all the ones I've gone through. So I know I've let you guys know that I had the depression, uh, the anxiety. I have also social anxiety where people scare the sheezies out of me. I mean, honestly, just doing this right now, talking scares me. I mean, it, 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 it frightens the, <laughs> the out of me. Um, I also have CPTSD, that is chronic PTSD, which is another really traumatic thing because I have day terrors, I have night terrors, I, I don't sleep, uh, insomnia is like crazy. It may seem sometimes seem like I'm always sleeping, but I'm not. I'm just sleeping when normal people are up. But I'm up all the time. My time is nighttime. I love the nighttime. I love the daytime, don't get me wrong, I love the sun. But because I'm also of my disorders, I'm scared to go outside. I love the outside. I love nature. I love getting my hands in the mud and gardening. When I am one of my personalities, and that's what kind of got me really thinking about all of this, is when I was at my mom's or my grandma's, or, or I'll call her my mom at this time because that's who she is when I'm there, I noticed my personality was different there. But I always thought it was because I was safe. I knew I was safe. No matter what, I was safe there. So I just thought I was a different me, you know, a safe me. And then later on, I noticed that the memory problems were happening. I didn't remember conversations we were having. You know, we would sit down and talk for hours and hours. And I mean, I, trust me, if any of you guys know, hours. And most of them I wouldn't remember. But I was just thinking, hey, that's just me, right? That's just how my brain works. And I've always known that. I've always known my brain didn't work correctly. Not like everybody else's. I'm not sure what else to talk about. Uh, but I basically wanted to just explain to you guys about this. Um, and why I am all over the place. DID is a life-changing thing. However, I've had it my whole life. Uh, um, I was not born normally, so that didn't help. <laughs> that did not help any of it in 
the long run in the in, in the long run period then growing up with everything that has happened in a lifetime none of that <laughs> has helped so it kind of just went on and went on and went on um but it's something i've always had i've always had these personalities i've always been somebody different um, um, the changes which I guess that is what they are called the switches changes for me um, happen without my knowledge they happen with basically without my permission I mean it, there's no turn off button um, one minute I can be one person next minute I can be next person um, and sometimes I could be multiple where I feel my other personality is closer to I don't I don't know how it works I, I don't know if they're the correct if the if they're the correct way of saying it I'm just trying my best to pronounce it so that when you guys do watch my channels when you guys do watch me you're understanding that you're getting the full me I just really want to be me and that's all I've ever wanted to do in my life. So, hi. But I'm just me. I'm not scary. I'm not dangerous. I'm funny. I, I, got, a, I got a serious mouth on me at some points. But the things I do remember about my past are not my memories. I need to make that clear if anybody is still watching this. The memories that I remember from now until my past are not my memories. They are like a story that has been told to me that I have been watching. Um, it's like I've been watching my whole life through a video camera. And it's really weird to think about that. I mean, you watch it on TVs, you see that, you know, the old body experience. But that is how I picture my life. When I look at myself in the mirror or in video or whatever, that's not me. This is not me. Um, but this is me. This is my body. We all know this. I'm, you know, I'm not some alien. I'm not some whatever. I'm just a person with a mental disorder who also has other personalities with mental disorders who are also living inside the same body. Try thinking about that, guys. <laughs> but yes, um, so if any of you know me from before this and I have ever done or said or whatever and forgotten something, just know that I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not doing it to be facetious, if I can say that word right. Um, and it's nothing like that. Now, I like I said, I do not remember a lot of things. But at the same time, I do remember a lot of things. But it comes and goes. So at one minute, I might not remember one thing. And the next minute, I can totally remember everything. It, 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 it's, it's a come and go. It's like someone plugs in a memory card and that's it. I have more than one personality, for sure. And this, like I said, has been documented. Um, I'm trying not to say their names until they come out. Um, so that's just because I want to be respectful to them. Um, there is a thing called integration, but I'm not really sure how that works. I do know a few of our personalities have, um, I believe have done that or have decided to hide away longer. Um, how I feel about it, I want everybody to be themselves. If one of my personalities comes out and she wants to be herself and she wants to enjoy her life 
I want her to be able to do that. I want her to be able not to be scared of life, not to be scared to go outside, not to be scared to say something or to act the way she is. Um, but at the same time, if there's a personality who doesn't want to be here, then I don't want to force that either. So I'm going to give them all the information that I am able to give them myself. I don't know how the the brain works and, and how you get to your special happy place, but maybe I may never have that. And that's okay with me, to a point. <laughs> I am not that person who has grown up to... I'll, honestly, I, I don't want to put a time period to where I started being me. But I can honestly tell you I am I, I'm, I'm not any of those lifetimes. And that's kind of scary to wake up and know that you are not the original person who was born into this body and to know that the person who was born into this body if 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 we were if we were all just a combined in the beginning i'm not sure if that's making sense um i hope i am making sense And I hope you guys are still watching. I'm not sure if, if how this is going to be edited. I will let you know that there are two main personalities that three, we'll say three, we'll say three main personalities that are the main focus. Um, I'm not going to say alters because that's what, you know, the society calls them as their alters or hosts or whatever um, and I'm sort of understanding all of that so I'm not going to go into that because that's not how I see myself I don't know how I see myself anymore but I'm trying uh, I'm, I'm trying to be more focused and let myself be myself and create as you can see in the background this is a whole new section um, and and give give what I can back to you guys to share with my crafting my gaming my whatever decides that's gonna happen so yeah so I hope you guys at least understand a little bit more uh, about why I'm a little bit mixed up and forgetful and crazy and one minute happy and the next minute like it seems like my world has ended and it, it was just like a cut on my finger <laughs> um, I try not to be like that I do but sometimes you know, that it happens uh, so just to basically introduce myself, um, I don't have a system name, I thought I did, and then I found out that that was actual personality, so I'm still, still talking about that right now. Um, but there's Cat Smiles, and you've all met her, very happy, cheerful, uh, wants to help out and share and she loves games and she's been playing games since she was like 13 and you know it, it's she's she's a wonderful she's a great personality she's a great person if you guys jump on and, and see her play her games you guys I hope I hope you guys enjoy watching her um, and then there's Clover uh, I believe Clover is more 
closed off. She's more scared of the world. She's She is more, I don't want to say damaged, but she is affected more by things. Um, she's mostly, I can't say she's mostly the one who's out more, but she's mostly there. Um, but she tries, she tries. She really does try. And she actually co, I don't know how it works. She co's with Cat Smiles. Most of the time, Clover and Cat Smiles can work together as a uh, side seat drivers. I, I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. But it's like being in a room where you have so many people talking and having a book being read here and a movie being read there and then you have music going on and then you have other people talking in the background. But it's all in one certain section and you have to piece them all together to get something cohesive. And that doesn't always work. So those are some of the personalities um, that are out there. Uh, the Like I said, the other ones I'm not really going to go mostly into. Uh, but Cat Smiles and there's Clover. Um, there's what, like I said, when Cat Smiles and Clover are together, I really wish there was another name that I can put to it because honestly I believe that in itself is a different personality um, so yeah <laughs> and then we have my personality here which honestly I don't know if I have a name um, I'm more of the openness and willing to share and talk <laughs> uh, at this point the more sharing the more openness, uh, or when you guys get the wall of text. That's uh, thoughts in the dark. And um, I just call it dark. Uh, like I said, open, willing to look beyond what's going on right now and to see and to write and to explore why things are happening and be more open to how, why, and then express it in more of a verbal, written aspect to help people understand the body more, to understand who the personality of the body is. Um, and I really hope this helped a little bit. I, I don't know how this really sounds, uh, or if any of this is making sense. Um, I mean, I know by just watching this, you guys will be able to tell the differences in how it goes. Sometimes, like I said, the switches happen gradually. And then sometimes I, it, it's like, it just happens. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know how that works. I lose days at a time. Uh, my time is not the same as a normal person's timeline. For me, uh, or I should say for the brain, um, Two minutes ago could be 5, 10, 15 years ago. Two minutes from now can be 10 years from now. And it's really hard to explain. I have deja vu's all the time. I don't want to hurt anybody, and that's not the case for this. But just know that I, 
I'm not the same person or the same person I might be all the time. And I'm, I'm, and I'm sorry. I do try. Okay, so I'm going to stop before the crying. <laughs> but I hope you guys at least got a little bit of information. Uh, I hope to get this posted soon. And I hope to have more updates. And, yeah. You guys have a good one. And just remember, be happy. That's all we can do, right? Just be happy. Okay. If you have any questions whatsoever about anything games cats me personalities feel free to ask feel free